Hey everybody, welcome to another 3 Gates Films tutorial. Today, we're taking that Blackmagic 6K Pro raw footage and we're working on it in DaVinci Resolve. This is kind of a beginner's tutorial in case you've shot that raw footage and you don't know what to do with it, don't know how to get it to look right. This is the tutorial for you for that. So, first I'm going to do is open up DaVinci Resolve and I have it down here on my taskbar. And I'm going to click on that and open it up. Now I do have DaVinci Resolve Studio 17, which is the paid version. There's a couple differences in the paid and non-paid. There's a resolution limitation in the non-paid version. There's also no noise reduction in the non-paid version. So this is the paid version, so that's how we're doing this tutorial, but the principle still remains. So I'm gonna do a new project here. All right, so I'm just gonna call this grading test and create. And this, everything is pretty well blank. So I'm gonna go over here first to the media pool because we want to bring in a clips that we want to uh, we want to edit. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the Explorer here, and we're going to it's what's on my other screen. Going to bring it over, and there we go. So we're going to bring in a couple of clips I want to edit. So we're going to bring in this one. Okay, it says change project frame rate. This selected clip has a different frame rate. So yeah, I want the frame rate of my actual clip. So go ahead and change it. Uh, we're going to bring in this one, we're going to bring in uh, this one, and let's see, oh, I like this one right here. Okay, let's get this out of the way, and so I've got four clips in here that we're going to color grade. Now, to keep you from being bored, we're not sh color grading just any footage, this is Yosemite National Forest and the Grand Canyon, so it should be a little more fun to color grade. So. So we need to create a timeline for this footage to sit on. The default setting in DaVinci Resolve is 1920 by 1080, but this is 6K footage, so we want to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on one of these clips here and do uh, Create New Timeline Using Selected Clips. And uh, we need to uncheck Use Project Settings here because it's going to default at, at 1080. We're going to go to Format here, and if you notice if in the drop-down menu, there is no setting for 6K. There's 4K and there's 8K, so I'm going to go to Custom, and the 6K resolution is 6144 by, it should be easy to remember here, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the resolution of it, and the frame rate is 23.976. That's what I shot it at, and we'll hit Create. So now we have a 6K timeline that we can work on. Let's go over here to Cut, uh, the Cut tab. This first clip I have here is really, really, really long. Uh, um, actually, it's this one right here. Double click on that. It brings that clip into the viewer, and it's it's like several minutes long. And I only want a few seconds of it, so I'm going to go to the beginning of it and hit I for in. Go ahead a few seconds, hit O for out, and now it's clipped to that length. The rest of the clips I'm going to leave at their regular length because they're not terribly long. So now I'm going to go over to the edit pane, and uh, I'm going to just delete this here. I'm going to click on this and delete it. And the edit pane, I'm going to drag each one individually in here, just so you can see how it lines up. That's the first one with the waterfall. Drag the second one, which is the waterfall, a bit more close up. And third one, which is the entire Yosemite Park from the uh, tunnel view. And the next one is Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon footage here. Okay, so now I have all my nice looking gray footage because uh, it's raw and the color uh, isn't baked into it yet, and that's what we're going to do now in color. Skip over Fusion because we don't need to look at that. Let's go over to Color. So the first thing I'm going to do here uh, is I'm going to go into, I'm going to click on the first clip right there. That's the waterfall clip. This is Bridal Veil Falls. And I'm going to click on this little camera, I think, because we're going to set how we're going to interpret uh, and how we're going to decode the clip. We could use Project, but I don't want to use Project because I want more control over the clip. So I'm going to click and on clip here. Gen 5 is what we want because that's the color science of the uh, Blackmagic 6K Pro camera. And I'm going to leave the white balance as shot. Uh, gamut compression leave checked because it actually helps with some color banding issues. And if this clip uh, had some a little overexposure in it, I would click on highlight recovery, but it doesn't, so I'm not going to. If Maybe in this clip right here, maybe the waterfalls might be overexposed. I don't think they are. In fact, I can see they're not. But if they were, uh, I could click on, once again, go to clip and click on highlight recovery, and we would have some highlight recovery uh, already configured into the edit. So let's go back to the first clip again. And this looks awfully gray. I want some color in it. There is a default 
uh, LUT setting within DaVinci Resolve. I can do one or two things. I can click on Apply LUT down here, which would be the LUT that you shot it in the camera. Click on that. Oh, look, it looks fantastic. But that's not what I want to do because I think I may have shot it in a Rec. 709 uh, color profile, and I don't want that. So I'm going to go over here to right click on the first node here and do um, LUT. Go down to Blackmagic Design and go over to Gen 5. Why did it disappear? It always does that. Gen 5 Film to Extended Video. Click on that and boom. Uh, we have the image as it mostly should look. So I can know what I've done on these nodes. I'm going to right click on it and know, click on Node Label and then type in LUT. So this is the node that we put the LUT on. We put different uh, adjustments on different nodes just so we can go back and change those and turn those on and off easily and see what we've done. So the first node is simply a LUT. If I think this image isn't saturated enough or contrasted enough, I can simply add a node. So I'll right click on this node and do Add node, add serial node. There are keyboard shortcuts for this that you can look up, but I'm not going to go into that today. So on this node here, now that this is selected with an orange box around it, I can go over here to this circle here and click on, see saturation right here? I can bring the saturation up a bit. And sure, that's fine. And I want to make it more contrasted, so I'm going to add another node. Add node, add serial. And over here I can go over to curves and I can bring down the darks a little bit, and I can bring up the lights a little bit, and maybe bring down the mid-tones just a little bit. So it's a little bit goofy looking, but I'm just trying to do this so you can know how to do it. So once I like what I've done with it, then I can actually grab a still image of this and copy it to another clip that's shot with the same location, so I don't have to do the whole process all over again for the next clip. So I'm gonna right click, click, click grab still, and it sticks it over on the side here, and the next clip I know is the same exact falls, same camera settings, just a different lens. So I'm going to click on this image here, and I'm going to right click on this still image and do apply grade. And boom, now it's applied. Now I can see that this waterfall to me is a little bit too bright, so I'm going to go over to the, the last node, which I know is the curves, which I didn't label. So this is curves. And I'm going to bring down those highlights a bit, so that's not so crazy looking. Let's play that. and. Oh, look at that, it looks wonderful. Hey, if you want to full screen it, simply hit Control F. Boom, there's the full screen version of that clip. All right, hit Control F again to get out of full screen. So we have our first two clips graded. Uh, now the third one, um, this is an example of how, I'm gonna change some color temperature on this one because it was shot after sunset, it was very, very blue. And let's say I want it to feel not so cold and blue. So first thing I'm gonna do, once again, is go over to this camera raw, do project, clip, and I uh, don't need highlight recovery, we'll leave gamma compression on. And um, well, so you can see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add the LUT first here. So I'm gonna right click on here, LUT, Blackmagic Design, Gen 5 to Film to Extended. All right, so you see how blue it looks, how dark it looks, it was after sunset. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I don't want it so blue. So on a color temp here, so I'm gonna bring the color temperature way up to make it feel a little bit more warm and not so cold. I'll bring it to 10,000 because it was shot after dark, Let's full screen that. You can see it's pretty dark here, so I'm gonna add another node. Add node, add serial node. And this one I'm going to use some curves and bring up the darks a little bit. Keep the mids down a bit, just so we can see some of that shadow detail. Okay. And then maybe saturate a little more with another node. Add node, add serial. Go over here to the circle again, and saturation, bring it up a little bit. Okay, I like that, but since I'm bringing the darks up, there's probably some noise introduced to the footage. And if you're using uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio, there is noise reduction available. So I'm going to add another node, right click, add serial node, and this one's gonna be noise reduction, right click, and node label, noise reduction. And we go over here to this tab, and we add some noise reduction to it. We're not going to go into too many details about how that works. You can play with those settings. I just want to get you guys up and running with DaVinci Resolve and your Blackmagic 6K Pro. So let's look at that. And noise reduction greatly slows down the viewing of footage, but it looks pretty okay in my mind. So 
Let's go back to our final clip of the Grand Canyon. Go back to the camera raw, project clip. Um, highlight recovery because it's pretty bright when I shot that. Let's go add our LUT, extend video. And we're just gonna leave this alone because I wanna get to delivering. So there we have all our clips graded and now we're gonna deliver this uh, footage and we'll click on deliver. And what you do with this footage depends on what your purpose is. If you wanna go to YouTube, then look at this. We got YouTube right here. It says 1080p, so we wanna change that. We wanna change the resolution to custom and we're gonna change it to I don't know if YouTube takes 6K, but we're gonna do this 6144 by 3456. It may not take this, let's see. Oh, or maybe it will. So uh, format is QuickTime, or we can do MP4, uh, and we'll do add to render queue. When you're doing the YouTube, it does it as one long, uh, one long clip. So we'll do add to render queue. And right now, the entire timeline is selected with this bar right here. You can export just one clip or all of them, in default is all of the clips are selected. So we'll click Add to Render Queue, and we need to name it. Uh, we're gonna name this uh, Exported Yosemite, and hit Save. And now there it is, and we have to actually click Render to make anything happen. So we're gonna click Render All, and there we go. And we're rendering away at 14, 17 frames a second. Okay, so we got that rendered out. Let's say we want to take this footage and do something more high quality, like we're actually doing, uh, this is gonna go into another project that we're editing, we want really high quality export. Then we would do something like this. We'll go to custom and make the format uh, QuickTime and uh, the codec DNX HR. Um, if this was on a Mac, you could do it uh, in ProRes. Uh, but DNxHR is kind of very similar to the ProRes codec in quality. And you can choose 444 12-bit. I mean, this is really super high bitrate stuff if you're going to be editing television shows or uh, a feature film. Uh, for most users, H.264 is going to work just fine like the previous example. But I'm going to choose, um, uh, I'm going to choose 10-bit here. And the same resolution. We're going to rename it. And uh, I'm going to do... Yosemite HDNX, okay? And add to render queue, and then hit render all again, and watch it go. So that's how we do a basic workflow with the Blackmagic 6K Pro in DaVinci Resolve when shooting RAW. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and uh, we'll see you next tutorial.